How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. I've been wanting to make a clock for my bedroom and I figured I'd make it out of some of this pallet wood me and Julie's been working on. So I got me some pallet wood on the table and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing with it. I'm going to make a birdhouse pallet wood clock. Now I wasn't into using the best part of the pallet woods. I'd like to have the knots. I'd like to have the nail holes. I want it to look rustic and old. So I have come up with, uh, this is a, the size of the face of my clock. I went in there at Michael's and picked up <clears throat> picked up a clock. I got some extra hands, which I don't think I'm going to use. But uh, I took the longest hand on this, which would be the uh, minute hand, and just traced it out on a piece of cardboard. I just found the size and traced it out on a piece of cardboard cut the cardboard out so that will give me the face that I need for the front of my clock that's how big I need it to be so I just did a 45 on this right here so we'll cut this off here cut these down 45s then I'm going to put a trim piece for the board or for the roof and then uh, we'll get to working on this the face and everything cutting out for our clock Okay, I'm going to drill the hole for where the clock's got to go in here, and it's, uh, I think it was 15 16 yeah, 15 16 hole. Now, I just noticed that this wood's a little too thick, actually, for my clock, so I might have to take the router and route a little place in the back so it'll work. We'll go ahead and get this drill down here. All right, what I've done here is I got my big uh, drill bit here. This is going to cut a three inch circle in the back because the clock, the little stem coming out of the clock, is just too short to go through this. So I need to countersink the whole back just a little bit. Hopefully this works. If it does, I won't have to get the router out. I think that might do it. So we're going to take it out of here and give it a try and see what happens. You guys asked me about these clamps. I just put a couple of sockets on there and clamp it down and holds them down because these things actually don't go that small so okay uh, this is why we recessed this uh, down in so we could get a nut on the top of there this probably the the stud sticking out there is about a half inch and I got a half inch wood so I had to recess this down in a little bit so we could have it uh, the, the the bolt come all the way through so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the two pieces up here on the top all right uh i went up there and i just stripped these at an inch and a half and they're the just a, the piece the one side of the uh, pallet wood i did the same thing with that and i cut 45s on them so the top would meet up here um now i'm gonna take i have some old uh some old um uh, lath boards i'm going to use them on the back to connect these together uh, so they don't fall apart you know it'd be nice if we could do my wife's at a biscuit joiner you know and join them together but i don't have one so 
we're going to do the best we can with what we have. And I'm going to cut some last board. Let me get you a piece of that last board and I'll show you what it looks like. Here's just a piece of the laugh board and we'll take a couple pieces in behind and we'll cut them off a little shorter than the clock and we'll glue it and then we'll nail it to it. Uh, we'll do a couple of them across there to hold that into place. So and that'll just be on the back. You shouldn't have any problem because if you notice the, the clock itself sticks out. So me putting that on there, it's not going to put it any further away from the wall than what the clock the mechanism for the clock, clock does already so it's gonna work out okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get this taken back out get it flipped over and we'll get to our last board on okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take some liquid nail and I'm gonna be pretty generous with this and we're gonna put that one on here and we'll do another one this should be okay to hold this together. The reason why I'm putting it pretty heavy is because that center board is actually bigger than the rest of the boards. So we're just going to press him down on there. Get this one pressed down on there. Then we're going to throw some nails in it. Hopefully they don't come through the front. I've done that many a times. Okay, that should be good to hold that on there. So this piece should be like one now, which it is. Looks pretty good. Now all we have to do is we have to mount our roof on. But let's see here. See I, I got this roof. I tried to use the old side of the uh, wood. I didn't use like this clean cut side. I used the old rough looking side. Oh. I think that's going to turn out pretty nice. So I'm going to lay that on something flat like that. And then we're going to glue and nail this guy down on too. So that's my next step. You can see I got one nail that come through the side, but we'll deal with it when we get done with the rest. Ah. Now we got two nails to deal with, so I'm going to just sit here and take the glue off the inside and get those two nails out of there okay what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drill the hole for where the bird will go you know the birdhouse hole so that's what I'm gonna do now is drill a hole in there now this hole's not gonna go all the way through uh, the board it's just a hole to we'll paint black uh, so it looks like there's, looks like there's a hole in there
Okay, we got the hole drilled in there and what I did is I took a little bit of liquid nail, mixed it up with some sawdust and filled that hole in the middle. Now tomorrow I'll be able to let this dry and go ahead and paint that black inside the hole. Alright, I bring this guy in the house a little bit and we painted the little inside of the hole and I went to Michael's and bought some letters. Um, I really didn't want the ones on a regular clock, so these were little, just little wooden letters that I think they're just stamped out. And I put a coat of black paint on them, and uh, I put a coat of white on them. What I'm going to do is I got a couple different sandpaper here, and I'm going to set here, and I'm going to scuff these guys up. I didn't want them all white. I didn't want them all black either. So I'm going to set and work on each one of these letters until I get them to look the way I want them to look. It may take a while, but I got time today. We're going to do a nice job on this. Yeah, I didn't want them to look uh, like they were new, that's for sure. I got an old looking clock here, so. I'm not so sure I like the white color to them, but we'll, we'll see. We're just going to take our time and, and uh, keep scuffing until we get them the way we want them to look. And we are going to put a coat of clear over this. I'm not going to do the clear until I get all the numbers on the face and get everything that I want on this on it. And then we'll uh, do a coat of clear on it. Okay, I got all my leather scuffed down and I just took a piece of a paper plate and I scribed a hole, scribed that circle out and cut it out. And then I put this little circle on there to see if I can get where I want my numbers on there. Now I'm not sure how they get these, whether they set and measure each one of these or how this works, but uh, I'm just going to do the best that I can. Uh, I've seen them not even on the board, like just 12, 3, 6, and 9, but I wanted to put them all on there, so uh, I'm going to put them all on there. I'm just going to hot glue them on there. I'm going to try to get them to where they look decent. That one there is on top of that board. The boards are different sizes, so but we don't really care. We just want to make it look decent. And uh, that's kind of how I'm getting <clears throat> the idea of where I want my uh, numbers to be. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be working on now is getting these numbers on here I'm not sure if I should stick the motor in there first and just spin it around to each hour and then put it on uh, I'm gonna figure it out and then I'll get you guys back here uh, because if you spun it around if I had it both on 12 and I spun it around one time it should be on the one I should be able to continue doing that until I got all the way around there and just put the numbers as close as I can to the uh, hour mark you know what I mean so I'll get it figured out and then I'll get you guys back in here alright I think I got it figured out I got the little plate on here now to give me a guideline where I'm gonna put my numbers and we got the hands to tell us where each number is going to go. So I'm going to start with this 12 up here. And this is a little bit. Now, I don't know if this is the right way to do it. This is just the way I'm doing it. So don't hold me to it and say, you know, I screwed this thing up. Because if I screwed it up, it's mine. I screwed my own up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the leather up. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue underneath this guy. 
Oh boy. Didn't want too much on him. And then I'm going to put it down there right up against that board. And I'm going to take my time and place each one of these on here. So that's how I'm going to get my numbers on as straight as I can. Like I said, I don't know how they're supposed to do this. It's just the way I'm going to do it is right here. You should have maybe a couple cups of coffee or something before you do this. not perfect this thing probably is not meant to be perfect but not too bad so I'm gonna continue going right around this guy and then when I'm ready to do the one I will take the back here and spin it around until the second or the minute hand gets on the 12 and then my one should go right there So I'll just take my one, put some glue on him, and put him right there. I hope this works. It should work. Oh, I'm not looking for it to be perfect. We're using pallet wood. And I'll spin this guy around to the next one. Minute hand gets up on the top. Right on my 12. Oh no, that's where my two's got to go. I really didn't want to get too much on there, and you can see I'm getting too much. It should work out. All right, that's how I'm doing it. Now I'll get you guys back in here when I get them all on. Okay, all of our numbers are on. They don't look too bad. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clock assembly back out. We're going to take it back out because we got some more work to do to this thing, and um. I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. We need to clear coat it, and I don't want that on there for the clear coat. So we can leave the clock just by itself. Now, <clears throat> let's see here. These are some of the nails that was taken out of this wood. I want to put the nails back in it. Um, I uh, would like to... I need some nails in different positions here I'll tell you why let me show you why on this little birdhouse I had picked up a couple little birds and I thought that they would look cute on the birdhouse I got two the same birds so I'd like to put the birds on there well I need something for them to uh, clamp to and <clears throat> why not put the nails back in and I can hot glue the nail where I want the nail to be and uh, then I can put my little bird on here clamp him right to the uh, nail so I need to position the nails to where the little bird is going to be facing out something like that um so what i thought i'd do is go ahead and put some of these nails back in 
And then I'd like to have had two birds on here, so I'll put one up in one corner and one in the other corner. But I was going to go ahead and snip some of these nails off and hot glue them in their holes like the nails were still there but a few of them was coming out so we should be able to take these and cut the nail and hot glue the nail back in the hole uh, that's the goal and uh, that's what I'm going to try to do here uh, I think a bird on this side and maybe a bird up in here if I can bend this nail around to where I can get him sitting where I want him we'll hot glue them nails back in there so this one here I could go ahead and hot glue him in and I'm just gonna put a dab of glue on there because I don't think it's gonna take much and I don't care whether they're all the way in we just uh, want them to look like they're supposed to be there. So I'm going to work on getting these uh, nails in here. And uh, some may be all the way in. Some may be not. Oh, but we're going to do our best on them. I kind of like them sticking out just a little bit. It's pretty cool looking. <clears throat> it's kind of crazy that we're putting the nails back in but it's all about how it looks what what, what look we're going for you know uh, <clears throat> I think this little guy here looks pretty good right there resting on that nail We gotta get the little birdie nail in there, which I like him right where he's at there. Maybe mull a little bit. hot glue all over my little birdie here. <clears throat> so I think he looks pretty good right there so we'll leave that one there. I'll have to cut some of that glue off of there. 
So now we want our other bird <coughs> up in here. So I want to, I don't like the nice straight nails. I wonder if I can get him to rest on there somewhere. Like so. Can actually put him anywhere we want. So I think we'll just go ahead and glue that one in right there. That looks pretty good right there. And we could always bend them nails around. It's not a biggie if we need to. <clears throat> then we got another nail over here we're going to put in. Hmm. Kind of like that nail just sticking right on down all the way through there. Don't look too bad. No, nah, maybe not. Maybe I'll just snip one off and stick in there. It's going to put it all the way down, but we don't even have to stick one in there. that one stick out just a little bit on this end. <clears throat> okay. I think we got everything on it that we want to get. Oh, I'm sorry. I think we got everything on it that we wanted to get on it. Um, this nail over here, I may bend it around the front. I may bend this nail around so we can get him positioned down there a little bit better. All right, I got it all. Everything has been, um, everything that I wanted to hot glue on has been hot glued on. The last thing I have to do is put a coat of this clear on here. So we're just going to seal the whole entire thing. Oh. Uh, this may give it a little bit darker tint, oh. but that's okay. We're going to seal right over top of the nails and everything. Now I'm just using a little throwaway brush here. We're going to get her looking good. You know, I wanted to build a clock because, you know, clocks are, man, it's hard to get a good clock anymore. But uh, I wanted to build something that the grandkids could look up there and see and like, wow, look, there's a bird up there, Pap. You know, that's kind of what I wanted to build and, and that's what I did. So. This is a water-based clear, oh, so Minwax. It's pretty nice. It dries fast, and you can clean your brush if you wanted to clean your brush. You could clean it with water.
And like I said, I'm clearing right over the top of the nails and everything. So it's looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, clearing all this up. Then we'll get you guys back in here and we'll start putting it, uh, putting all the, putting the guts in it and everything like that. All right, our clear coat is all on there. We're going to let this dry up. And then we can go ahead and put our clock mechanism in there and put our birds in there and get it hung up. I really think it turned out pretty decent. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get this guy put together. Um, we got everything on it now. Got to watch because I got a little bit of that uh, clear coat down in that hole there. So we're just going to go ahead and get this all straightened up here I know we don't want this too tight I don't want to break it but I want it tight enough it's going to hold it there then I'm going to flip it over and make sure this guy is up straight up and down okay I think that looks pretty good so now we'll go ahead and start putting our hands back on I'm not sure, but I think he's got a clear coat on him or something here. I think he do. Got something on him. All right, that looks a little better. I didn't realize they had them on there. Had that on there. <clears throat> then we're gonna get our other one here. And I suppose this got the same stuff on it, so we're gonna peel it off. Okay. I'll put both of them on twelve o'clock. That one's the one you want to stay on 12. This in here we can push over just a little bit.
Okay. I'll see if I can get that tightened up here just a little bit on here. I'm just going to tighten it a little bit. I don't think it has to be super tight. And then we'll get our second hand. Put it down in there. to bend it up just a little bit. Okay, now we have a battery. <clears throat> Get our battery put in here. Gotta set the time. It's 9:41 in the morning. I just want to make sure everything's going to clear. And everything looks like it's clear and pretty good there. This guy needs to be down just a little bit more. I think that looks good. So now we got that on there. We could go ahead and stick our bird on here. And then we got our other little birdie, which is going to go right on his side right here. And uh, I think that's going to be pretty nice. I think it's going to be a nice little birdhouse pallet wood uh, clock. Okay, I took it out there, hung it up, and I'm not happy with these little guys here. I'm not crazy about this clip being able to see that clip on there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the little clip off if I can. And I'm just going to hot glue these little guys right on the nail. I think that's going to look better. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hot glue this guy on the nail and that's all they were is hot glued onto there so I don't see why I can't just hot glue them right on the nail give them some little time there to dry to look right on there. I think that looks good. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one here. Um, I just wasn't crazy about that big metal clip. I don't like that big metal clip on there. So I'm just going to pull that guy right out of there. And we're going to hot glue him right on here. That got to look pretty nice. I just want to make sure he's on there pretty straight.
I think I look so much better without that uh, big metal thing hanging off of it. I think that looks a lot better. So we got two little birds on there. That's pretty cute. So let's go get it hung up and see what she looks like. All right. I hung the clock up in the dining room here. This is really the only wall I have to hang it on. But I did want to give you guys a good close up of what it looks like. And I think for some old pallet wood, I think it turned out pretty nice. The little birds kind of bring it to life. The nails sticking out of the boards were pretty cool too. I like how I left the nails sticking out. And none of the wood is perfect, but that's what's nice about pallet wood and what it looks like. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Don't forget, click the little bell down there if you want them alerts. Till next time.